OK, welcome back everybody and a good Tuesday evening out there. We have gotten sunshine to return as uh, we talked about yesterday. Thought that would be the case late afternoon into the evening. Any of these showers and scattered thunder showers from earlier today working off to the east and pretty much going bye bye. It looks like for the remainder of tonight and uh, tomorrow, but uh, at some point later tomorrow night into early Thursday morning, there's going to be a shot for uh, some thunderstorms to cruise in here from out in Wisconsin. Let's we'll see about that. Uh, there is an outlook from the Storm Prediction Center for some serious severe out in Minnesota, uh, Iowa, and especially Wisconsin tomorrow late afternoon into the evening. Can some of that make it across the lake and uh, come in here as a decaying complex? That is a possibility at some point tomorrow night and then uh, additional rain and possible thunder showers on Thursday as well. I'll give you more details on that coming up. 75 becomes a 72 and 70 this evening. It is going to be humid all the way through. It feels very tropical outside. That is a certain day. The humidity actually does come down a little bit. It looks like for tomorrow, just marginally. I mean, dew points around 70 today come down to maybe 66, 67. Tomorrow, you probably won't notice a whole lot of a difference, but uh, you can notice a difference with the sky condition. Clouds uh, that overcast from many hours today has broken up and given way to at least some breaks for sunshine, and that'll carry us through a sundown right around 918, 919 tonight. Radar. Uh, going away with any of the showers for the most part. Yes, still a couple showers out there. One in northern Kent County. We'll keep an eye on that as it works off to the east, but nothing strong or severe from here on out tonight. All the lightning strikes on the east side of the state. Now, granted, could there be a lightning strike or two with one of those very renegade cells that I just showed you? Yeah, it's possible, but uh, that is going to be waning and going away here entirely very shortly. This swirl out over Montana has some energy to it, and you can clearly see that. It is already uh, a well-defined upper level disturbance that'll work across the Dakotas, Minnesota and into Wisconsin tomorrow. And that is the source for what will be some explosive thunderstorms off to our west tomorrow. I don't think we're going to be dealing with, you know, major severe here in West Michigan, but uh, something could come in tomorrow evening. There's going to be two little waves of storms associated with that particular low pressure system out in Montana. One of them tries to come in mid to late evening tomorrow, probably dying as it does so. And then a second one overnight into Thursday morning. So uh, possible storms on Thursday. Uh, I say Thursday, meaning all day, really, because the morning could see these decaying storms. Then the afternoon, we could flare a few more showers and thunder showers as the entire system kind of grazes across the Great Lakes region. Decent weather, though, starting to arrive for the weekend. No big changes from what I uh, told you yesterday back into the lower half of the 80s, Saturday and Sunday, and dry sunshine mixed with clouds. And we go upward from there through next work week when there is a chance we could make a run at 90 degrees at some point uh, towards the end of that seven day or beyond. Temperatures right now mid to upper 70s. We've got warm air across the country, but yeah, it's the 12th day of July or is it the 13th day now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be warm here, folks, and it is. Uh, but we're technically below normal. We've got all this humidity, though, so kind of a compensating factor to make it feel pretty warm. And the winds have been light all day long, providing no relief from the humidity. Same story for tomorrow. Very light winds on the day Wednesday. Watch this model as we go forth. This is the RPM. It keeps these clouds pretty prominent out there. I think that's kind of a, an exaggeration. I would expect to go mostly clear to partly cloudy here shortly and carry that into the overnight. Perhaps the model sensing a little haze or fog. That is a possibility with temperatures dropping down close to those dew point values and light winds overnight. So patchy fog, kind of that hazy look on the horizon, but I don't think thick clouds like the model showing. And then here's what I'm talking about. First little wave of thunderstorms, probably overdone by the RPM, but we got to keep an eye on that. Say seven, eight, nine o'clock tomorrow night. And then a second wave of showers and storms tries to approach at some point to deep into the overnight Wednesday into Thursday morning. Kind of a complex system we'll have to keep an eye on. And then as the whole deal works across on Thursday, hinging on whether some sun can pop in there, which is a big question mark, additional thunder showers could pop at some point Thursday afternoon. So a lot to kind of iron out as we go forth, but much of Wednesday, Wednesday is going to be dry. And there's the nicer weather, Janice and Ryan, towards the end of the seven day period. Just hang in there for the weekend, <laughs> like usual. Anthony, thanks. Still had a local.